Grenada as a small island developed in states like many others in the Caribbean or in the Pacific or wherever small islands are who do not have the possibility or not blessed like here in the Arab world with petroleum or whatever type of fossil fuel have to import these and are fully dependent on these and Grenada specifically imposed 99% of its energy demand and utilized for this 99% in fossil fuel. The price of electricity in that case is very high, even though we import at, and get subsidies from the Venezuelan and Trinidadian government. But energy is inaffordable for the commercial sector, for manufacturing, and even for the private, private household. And tourism, which is one of the key sector in Grenada, suffers a great deal at this point in time that some hotels have to be closed because they cannot afford the electricity bill. In 2011, after prior to a lot of consultation that took place with Grenadians, national public persons, people from the private business, even school children. So the population of Grenada got involved in giving their ideas and their views in drafting and coming up with a Grenada national energy policy. We decide that in our roadmap, our 2020 roadmap, which highlights our ambition in reducing CO2 emission by 20%. At the same point in time, that is all under that low carbon strategy, we decide that how are we going to do this? We cannot do this by importing fossil fuel constantly. We, so we need to address the question of renewable energy. And this is where the link to the IRENA became very timely. Through that study that was carried out in a four to five months period, we have we identified there were resources that we can mobilize and if we do it right we will be able to achieve the new or the 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 upgraded grenada government strategy which culminates in the 2030 grenadian vision and that means that implies by that period, if, we, if it happened before, blessing, we want to have 100% of our energy supply and demand and uses utilizing only green energy. We are going to generate 70% of our energy based on geothermal. And the other energy projects such as wind, solar, are definitely part of that healthy energy mix that will constitute towards that 100% we need a vision.